Let's cross live to you uh, in New York, France 24's Jessica Le Mazure is standing by. Uh, Jessica, this could well be a showdown uh, today at this U UN Security Council meeting. We can expect some diplomatic sparring, some heated exchanges between those foreign ministers, especially Russia's Lavrov, uh, Ukraine's Kuleba and the United States Blinken as they all meet. This is the first high-level Security Council meeting, ministerial-level Security Council meeting, since the war started on February 24th. It's also the first formal Security Council meeting that is focused on accountability. It's uh, titled The Fight Against Impunity in Ukraine, and it's the signature event for France's presidency of the Security Council and will be hosted by France's Foreign Minister, Catherine Colonna. Now, we can expect to hear from the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, and he's going to really talk about the impact of this war on civilians in Ukraine. We'll also hear from the ICC prosecutor, Karim Khan, who has been uh, to Bucha. He was there uh, in April, and he described the situation in Ukraine as being one in which there could maybe be be uh, war crimes that have been committed by Russian forces there. So there'll be a lot of talk about what happened in Bucha, about atrocities, alleged atrocities committed in Kiev, and also about those more recent findings, uh, these, uh, this discovery of mass graves in Izium just last week. So we're going to hear a lot more details on that. We could hear some level of frustration from other Security Council members about just quite how paralysed the Council has been when it comes to trying to stop the war in Ukraine. This largely because a permanent member of the Security Council with a veto. Russia is directly involved in this conflict. All right, Jessica. Jessica Missouri for us in uh, New York. We'll, of course, be following this story uh, here on France 24. For now, though, Jessica, thank you.